What's going on guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're joined by Johnny, who you have seen on my podcast. Uh, you know, as he was talking about on the podcast, his renovation job of his villa, and that's where we stood today. So we're going to sort of do a walkthrough. I'm going to explain exactly like what work's been done, uh, you know, the costs that he's incurred in doing this whole renovation. And just to give you an insight into exactly what's going on, you probably hear that bird over there inside the villa. Um, so this villa is actually located in the green community, DIP one. Yeah. All right. So the green community it's a beautiful community. Like you've got this villa for a steal. It's absolutely huge. What, 7,000? 7,500 square foot. 7,500 square foot. What's the built up area? 12,500. 12,500. That just says it all. All right, so guys, we're going to do a little walk through. Let's go. <laughs> Right, Johnny, we're in the entrance now. Tell us what's going here, because this is probably my favorite part. Yeah, so we wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, essentially, when you come in through the entrance, uh, you've got a massive floor to ceiling aquarium. We wanted to take a wall out and have that as a, as a replacement for the wall so you can see through both sides. I uh, thought it'd be an amazing feature to have within the house. It's something I've always wanted. Yeah. Um, we've got a really good company to design it all and then obviously do the installation. And you got fit, you got quite a few fish going in there, haven't you? Yeah, there's about 100 different kinds. Yeah, 100 uh, different kinds of fish. fish yeah. All right, so as you come into the hallway, we're going to be greeted by the aquarium, which, you know, is incredible. And then you've said you've got the Santorini staircase. Yeah, we really like the Santorini style uh, concrete staircase. Uh, behind that, we're going to have uh, onyx wall with uh, LED lighting behind it. Really nice effect. Mm -hmm. um, so you're gonna, it's going to light up the area once you're walking up the stairs. Perfect. See what I mean, guys? This is just like right now they've got exactly 40 days. It's a, it's a, it's a hopeful number, but they've promised to deliver, so. Yeah, the, the contract is optimistic. I, I think he can do it on time. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's see. All right, so let's continue to walk through. All right, so as we walk through, uh, we've got a huge living area, which is gonna overlook the pool, I believe, right? We've gone for, again, floor to ceiling windows that all slide open. Uh, can be hidden away in a pocket behind the wall. We just wanted to have that open space feel. Um, and again, it's gonna sort of roll through into the kitchen, dining area that way. Beautiful. And then the pool, how big is the pool? 80 meters by nine. 80 meters by nine. What's an Olympic size swimming pool size? Uh, 100 meters, isn't it? 50 meters. Is it 50? Yeah, so oh, this is 18? 18, yeah. 18, right, 18. It's still then, massive, isn't it? We've got a jacuzzi at the end as well. A jacuzzi at the end, brilliant. All right, so uh, I don't even know where to go next. What's this room? It's gonna be the formal dining and living area. All right, so the formal dining and living area. All right, and what's what's your plan for this room? So we're going to have dining area this side, yeah, and then again living area here. Um, again, floor to ceiling windows. Got to get that view in place. Uh, yeah, amazing view over the park. Um, beautiful scenery. So there'll be two living areas, yeah, because that'll obviously be the main one yeah. with an open plan kitchen. I take it. Yes. All right, because obviously, guys, the new style for modern modern houses and renovations is they have a massive open plan kitchen, huge sofa, big TV, that's pretty much it. And now you've got also a dining and another living space overlooking the pool. Yeah. All right, okay, let's, uh, let's go take a look upstairs. All right, so we've just walked up the stairs. Now we're on the landing. So we've got how many bedrooms? It's five bedrooms upstairs. Five bedrooms upstairs, including a huge master bedroom with a sauna, steam room, shower that comes from the roof, anything else? A, walk, a huge walk-in wardrobe as well, yeah. All right, so this is the guest bedroom in front of us. So if we go through here, all the bedrooms are pretty nicely sized. I guess they've all got their own ensuite as yeah, well. Right. Yeah, so this is pretty much what every bedroom looks like with a view over the community. And to be honest, the community is really nice as well, actually. I didn't know about this community, to be fair. It's quite well hidden, yeah. yeah it's a well hidden community, but it's like super peaceful and it's good for, I guess, any families that want to live here as well. So this is what a guest bedroom looks like. So now what we're going to do, guys, we're going to take you through to the master bedroom, which is probably my favorite part, apart from the pool. So let's go check that out. All right, guys, so now we're stood in the master bedroom, which looks onto the pool and the park, I guess. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. I thought that for a minute that was a golf course, but yeah. no, it's a, yeah, that's a park. Um, so from the master bedroom, you've got massive windows. Yeah. And here, obviously, it's a very big size room. Now through here, guys, let's take, take a little look. So when you walk through here, this is going to be your walking wardrobe. Look at the size of this. I'm sure the ladies are going to be very happy with it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. And then there's a steam generator there, which is going to go into the steam room, connected next to it, a sauna, 
and then obviously you've got a huge bathroom and then what do you call that shower where it's like a waterfall shower a waterfall shower right and johnny just give it i mean we spoke about it in the podcast but you know this whole renovations cost you what two two two, two million budget um we we're, we're just about on target all right so purchased for 4.5 million dirhams so then it was obviously renovated slightly under budget for less than two million and the resale value well we've already been offered 10. Yeah. already been offered 10 million but obviously because johnny's not in a rush to sell it but if he was going to sell it 12 million is sort of the asking price which in my opinion for the amount of work that's being done and for the level of quality that it's going to be at and also the area it's not a bad price really comparing it to anywhere else on a, in dubai so guys there's a the last bit I want to show you, now in my most favorite, the pool and the bar area. All right, let's go. Right guys, so we are on to the final part of uh, the video, which we're going to show you the pool. So as you can see, a huge 80 meter pool. Now, directly behind the pool is going to be where the pump house is stored. So it's actually going to be tiled over. So you're not actually going to see anything. So, I mean, you've got even more garden space and no clutter, which is the biggest thing. And then in front of me here, we're going to have a bar and a barbecue area. So you imagine if you want guests over, you want to have massive parties, then I'm well, not saying mad parties, but at least having a decent house party. This is like an amazing space to do it. So guys, it all comes down to this. First thing you need to do when you're looking out for these kind of renovation jobs is distress deals. You need to get yourself your hands on something with a good profit margin where you can see the area, you can see it's got potential. Two, you're getting the contractors in, which again, we this is something we can also directly help you with. And Johnny can obviously recommend his contractors. And then three, obviously getting it on the market to resell it. That's probably the easiest part out of the whole thing, to be honest, because if the property's good, if the renovations have been done great, then this kind of thing is not hard to sell, especially luxury villas in Dubai that are ready. People will buy them, trust me. All right, guys, once again, I'm gonna thank Johnny. Thank you, my mate. Uh, today we got the opportunity to see this villa and obviously the renovations that he's done to it. Really excited to share more of this content on the, on the channel for you and subscribe, like, you know what to do and I'll see you in the next video.